Hi there, I'm Miriam and welcome to Miriam's Manor. Today, you guys, I just arrived in the parking lot at one of my favorite places to go Christmas shopping. So I thought that I would bring you guys along with me so you can see some of the additional pieces I'm going to be adding to what I already showed you a few months ago. So let's go ahead and go inside. Here we are, this is it.
Hey guys, I have got to get out of here. This place is always so dangerous for me. Look at my cart. It is packed to the brim. And even with all of the pics I got, oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to just spread this out when I get home and show you guys, but you can get an idea of all of these stems that are hanging out the back. <laughs> All right, you guys, so here is everything all laid out. I put out all my florals first and all the picks that I got, and I'll run through those with you guys first. One thing that I do want to bring to your attention right away is just look at the different type of texture that's here. That's the biggest thing that I always try to do every single year when I am shopping for florals is provide a ton of different types of texture in my floral picks. I don't want them to look all the same. They end up just looking drowned out in the tree and you can't differentiate one from another. And even though most of these are all white, you can still differentiate this one between this one, between this one and down the line. So that is something that is just a quick little tip for you guys. Also, you can see most of the stuff is white. That is very much on purpose because I am doing a mostly white and crystal tree um, it, with like silver accents and a little bit of gray sprinkled throughout. So that's where these babies will come in. But I will give you guys a close up of what I got. This is the first flower that I picked up. Now you guys, ugh, this flower is huge. It's not, um, I just quickly fluffed it. I don't have it like all the way around it, you can see. But I'll fluff it and put a picture up on the screen. But this thing is ginormous. I wanna say it's like uh, 16 inches from tip to tip. And this is just me guessing. I'll measure it so I can show you guys. This particular one is $9.99. Now I do have to say, these sell out fast. If you try to wait till November, they will be gone. So get them if you like them while you can. I try to pick up a few every year and there I can typically only get two to three. This year I was able to get six, so I'm really excited. Then I got this little baby, which it's actually not little. This one is still as big as my face, you guys. So this is a beautiful flower. It's very similar to the one that I just showed you, just a smaller version of it. And it's a cheaper alternative to still have really good size florals in your tree or garlands, whatever you want to use it for. It is $3.99 per stem. Now this baby, oh, I saw it and I absolutely loved it. This white pine cone is gorgeous. Now normally you see these like still brown pine cones just flocked on stems, but this cluster with it just all being white, oh my gosh, I was like, yep, gotta have it. So it is $4.99 and I believe I picked up eight of these. And I just really loved, this is a super simple one. However, it's the texture that got me. It reminds me of the plant Dusty Miller for those of you who garden. Um, this is $4.99, like that kind of strappy leaf texture. Um, but with it being all white and providing me with longer, thinner leaves, I just thought that it would be perfect to add a different texture element. And same with this one. This one is a smaller spray. It's all the cluster is pretty much just up at the top here and then a very long stem. But these little, the little seed heads on this are just what make it with the sparkly white leaves. And then this one was also $3.99 and I did pick up 10 of those. Also, uh, I, Love this one. It's thick. It has volume. You guys, this is one piece for how thick this is. Look at this big bundle as it's sitting here together. This is definitely going to give you a lot of bang for your buck because how thick and lush it is. It was $4.99 per stem. And I don't even know how I'm going to use this yet because I think this would look beautiful with like all of them in one big vase arrangement with only these. But then I love the thickness of what it could add to my tree and my garland. So maybe I'll have enough to do both or go back and get some more of these particular ones. 
And lastly, we've got our silver babies for our floral picks. Now, this is just like the white one that I showed you just with the silver seed heads and the leaves. And then I got a few, oh, sorry guys. This one is $3.99. And then I got a few of these balls, which I think I want to make a few clusters out of. So I only got three because I was thinking about making three cluster bundles to put in my tree. And this particular one is $5.99. All right, and here is a look of everything else that I got. Now I am going to start over here with these super large ornaments. I want to say this was like a 10 inch ball. It is really large. I got five of the white and I got three of the silver. I only got three silver because I already have really large silver balls and I think I have six actually. So these are going to be tucked within my tree as well as um, some of them will be placed on the garland of my stairs and on my mantle. And then I got these icicle lights. Now the color of them look a little bit more dingy in the packaging if you look at them next to each other. Once you pull them out, they're definitely more vibrant white, which is what I was hoping for. I was going to take them back if they weren't, but this is a beautiful, just um, a beautiful, simple icicle that is going to add just a nice little touch. And next I got these. Now these are all shatterproof, you guys, but they're made to look, especially this one, like seated glass. It is just gorgeous or frosted glass rather. Um, this one was $7.99 for a pack of four, but the detail on this is just stunning with this snowflake. I could not leave this one, especially in the store. Out of all of the ornaments that I got, this one is my favorite and then next to that would definitely be this one. This looks like broken shattered glass all put together. Oops. And it is just stunning. I absolutely love it. And this was $6.99 for a set of six. Now, just to put these next to each other, you can see the size difference. I think this one is a two inch and this is a four inch ornament. This is another four inch ornament, almost close to four inches anyway. It's 3.94 inches. So it's more closely um, matched to this size. Um, this one, I loved the top of this and then coming down with the snowflakes off of it. It comes in a four pack with two white, two silver. And this one was $7.99 for the pack of four. I got more crystals. Don't ask me why. I already have a ton of these, but I didn't have any that were like this big with this big centerpiece. So that's why I got it. <laughs> Not that I needed it, but I did love it. And I just love the way this hangs. I'm gonna, I don't know what I'm even using them for yet. I only got two, um, but when I saw it, I loved them. Now these, I absolutely loved this icicle. I love the shape of this. It looks like um, crystal, but it is not. It is shatterproof, that acrylic shatterproof ornament. Now, all of the other icicles that I have like this are glass, so I was really excited to find a few that are do not have to be um, so well handled. This was $2.99 each, and I got four of these. Moving right along, you guys, they had this bin of this trio of ribbon. I just got them all. I This isn't the ribbon that I was hoping to put on the tree, but after spending everything else, this definitely was more budget-friendly. Each of these was only $5.99 per spool, and it's 10 yards in each spool. Whereas some of the other ribbon I was looking at was like $50 per spool for only five yards. So this definitely is more affordable. And I got the ombre silver white, 
the beautiful snowflakes on this. And then this all white one, which I think I'm going to use this one to um, dress up a bit. I got a strand of garland that is um, all crystals. And I'm going to stitch it on this garland or maybe glue it. I haven't decided yet. Well, I'll do a video about it when I get around to doing it and showing you guys. And so I think I'm going to make my own kind of glammed out um, ribbon. But one of the things that I noticed that I, I'm literally, as I'm sitting here shooting this video, you guys, I'm literally just noticing I have a lot of snowflakes. I have snowflakes on this garland, snowflakes on this ornament, snowflakes on this ornament, and you guys are gonna laugh. I ordered snowflake um, placemats for part of my table setting this year. I did not even realize that I was doing this. It literally just hit me. And then there's snowflakes on this. So that is what my theme is this year. Obviously, it's gonna be like a, sna a glam snowflake here. <laughs> And so this is the other candle holder that I got. It'll hold like a little tea light candle in there or even a pillar candle, like a, maybe a two inch pillar candle. You open it up from the bottom and put the candle inside. This was $24.99. They also did have a smaller version, but I did get the larger one because I want to use this, I think, on my Lazy Susan in my kitchen. I think this will look really cute with maybe an arrangement next to it, a Christmas arrangement of with some flowers as a little setting. And then lastly, oh my gosh, you guys, I saw this baby and I wanted to leave her, but I just couldn't. I, I got this for my daughter's room. Um, she has a little doll already kind of like this, very similar. That's a little ballerina fox. That's her princess topper, but I just couldn't leave her there. And I thought, well, maybe I'll put the two side by side and they can be friends. <laughs> but this is very close to the color of my daughter's tree. She's got that blush rose pink color and then the champagne. And so I just loved her. And then I did get these flowers as well. These are stunning. Let me take it out of the package really quick. There we go. They're so beautiful. They're actually more beautiful in person than what even the camera is picking up. It's got that super soft pink with the gold. Oh, I just love it. And let me check the price. These were $3.49 a piece. So I did pick up two of these also for my daughter's tree because I don't believe she has any big flowers like this for her tree. So I wanted to at least get her a few and add to her collection. You guys, I almost forgot to show you this beauty. I showed you guys a different wreath that was all white. Um, this one is $69.99 and it is a 30 inch wreath. You guys, this wreath is so thick. The reason I decided to go with this one and not the other one is because my tree that is flocked that I will be using this year for this design is exactly like this. The needles are exactly the same. So it's a perfect match. So I decided to go with this one instead, even though I did love the other one, especially with the pine cones on it. But this one will better match my existing tree as well as if you guys can remember the garland that I got already from the decorators warehouse. So I decided to keep it all cohesive and get the same type of garland but let me go to the side so you guys can see how thick this is this wreath is worth every 70 dollars that you're going to pay for it every single dollar um it is thick it is not even fluffed you guys i have not even fluffed this thing yet and look at how thick it is i can't wait to get it fluffed and show you even just what it looks like at christmas time so you'll see it in a later video but i just wanted to hop on again really quick and show you this so that is all i have for you guys today i hope you enjoyed this shop with me video i typically never do stuff like this but i did want to bring you guys along for those of you who have been following what i'm doing since this last july when i came back from the decorators warehouse i thought i would keep you guys in the loop of new items that i'm getting and where i'm getting them just in case you guys might be trying to recreate the same look 
So give me a big thumbs up for this video. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. Leave a comment, share the video, do all the YouTube things. Click on your notification bell. I have so many Christmas videos coming your way for Christmas decor, for villaging. I am getting everything ready to begin to start editing all of this stuff that I have been working on and doing in the next several weeks. So I don't want you guys to miss anything that's coming up. And just a reminder, I hope you all are preparing for the Christmas Village Contest. It is coming up very soon in the next um, two months. Entries are due December 1st. Also, my merch is available, you guys. It's been available on Etsy and I keep forgetting to tell you guys. So for those of you who haven't bought your Miriam's Manor shirt yet and you wanted to grab one, um, I believe there are still about 40 pieces left. So go ahead and place your order for those. And that is all. So until I see you again, stay safe. God bless you. And I will see you either next Monday or Friday. Bye.